Lesson six, flags. Part one, how do I make something happen only once? Getting unlimited stuff is really cool. That's why we have buffets like Golden Corral. But in a game, it usually doesn't work out so well. Therefore, things happen only one time. Our example is going to be the Route 2 Pokeball. Now when we talk to it, something unusual happens. It disappears and gives us an item. We know how to give items, but we don't quite know how to disappear. This disappearance is actually triggered by something called a flag. If we didn't use the flag, basically it would disappear, and then after we took one step, it would reappear. So the flag tells the game to keep it gone. That's what makes it happen only once. So for our script, we'll just make them have a random message and give us an item. And then we come to a new thing called set flag OXOO. We replace OXOO with our value that we want. So right here, set flag OXOO is our flag. It tells the game something has happened by setting the flag. We're going to use flag 1200. Now for the flag number, almost any number will work, but the best ones that I've always used were 1200 and up. So now that we've written flag 1200, that tells the game that event number whatever that you're using this flag for has occurred. But that in itself doesn't mean anything. What must be done is a check to see if the flag has been set. So we'll go up here near the top of the script and put check flag OX1200, the same flag that we just wrote. On the next line, if OX01 go to offset done. Kind of like a yes or no question almost. So what happens right here is if the flag has been set, if the event has occurred, the script will, will skip everything else and go to offset done. Part 2. How do I make something happen after something else happens? For this part, we're going to have to use two different scripts to make this one event happen. So script 1, we're going to start off like we would start off any other script. But then, we're going to come to our check flag command. We'll use flag 1201. Now we go to our next part of the script. I'm just going to throw in a little fancy apply movement and all that, just to make it look pretty professional. Like This was lesson 5, by the way. So now we'll make things a little interesting by making the guy disappear for us, get out of our way, you know, just like the Pokeball would. So to do that, we'll start off by putting Fade Screen 1, which will make the screen turn black, Remove Sprite 1, which makes his sprite disappear, because he's people number 1 on Advanced Map. Then we're going to set flag OX1202, pause for just a little bit, and then Fade Screen 0 to bring it back to life. So let's go over that again. This crud is all just general script. This part checks to see if the event has already happened. And if it has, it'll go to offset done. This part only happens if the event hasn't happened. This will only happen if the event has happened. All this is general script. This makes the screen turn black. And this makes our person number one disappear. This is our flag. It tells the game that our event happened. So it won't happen again after that. And if we give a person on the map ID number 1202, after this flag has been set, they will disappear completely. This part waits just a second. And then this part makes the screen turn back to normal, fades it in. 
So now we go into advanced map, and I'm gonna click on this guy, and I'll put him in front of the house because he's supposed to block us. We're gonna set his people ID as 1202, the same as our flag that was just set. This will create the illusion that he disappears. Now up here in his people number, we've got to make sure to put 1, that way it removes his sprite. So now we've completed our after script. So now we have to make our event script. So for this, we'll just put a check flag to see if our event has already happened. And if it has, it'll go to offset done. But if it hasn't, he'll tell us a message, set the flag, and now the event has been completed. Now after that, we've got to assign it to a person. I'm going to assign it to this guy, and we're going to put his ID as 1202. That way, when our afterwards guy disappears, this guy will too. So let's just go over what flags we've used. Flag 1200 is our item script. Flag 1201 is our first event and flag 1202 is our second event and for our people. And now we're finally done. So let's check out our results. Here's our first script, our give item guy. Now as we see, he gives us our item, but then when we talk to him again, he won't give us another one. Now over here, we've got our guy guarding the house. If we talk to him, he tells us that we can't go through there until we finish the event. And when we talk to him, he tells us that we've completed the event. If we talk to him again, he'll tell us to go tell the guy that we've completed the event. Which is good, it means that he's not going to tell us the same thing over and over again. And finally, if we go back to our original guy, he will tell us that we completed the event, and the screen will fade and he will be gone giving us access to the house. So thanks to this tutorial, you should now know how to make people disappear and how to use flags. If you don't understand either of these concepts, you might want to try re-watching this tutorial.